Good morning, everybody. Kilt here. It is morning of day 107. I've been on trail for a while this morning. I got an early start. I'm trying to get a good jump on the day. We are actually all the way around Crater Lake already. Been in a fog and a haze, so everything's been in cloud cover. Nothing really to see. Um, got an early start because I'm slow today. My feet, man, sounds like a broken record, I don't bet. But uh, just documenting what's going on every day. So my feet are, uh, feet are pretty sore and beat up. So I figure if I got an early start with a slower pace, I can still try to achieve the same distance goal. Um, there is an option about two thirds of the way through the day to maybe get off for the night and rest. I mean, still do, still do some okay miles. It'd still be close enough to a uh, 30 for two days with yesterday's mileage or bonus miles. But uh, right now we're playing the catch up to the Tramley who's ahead. They pushed on last night or he pushed on last night. And uh, now we're gonna play catch up, and make, a, make a decision when I get to that one road cross, the last road crossing what we're gonna do, what I wanna do. So, um, had a short climb to get up around the lake from where I stealth camped. Other than that, being the weather held out, we had a little sprinkle last night, but it was nice cool temps, perfect sleeping weather. And so far this morning is perfect hiking weather. Um, I'm just trying to go as quickly as I can without too much pain. So. Got to figure something out with the shoes or inserts, but we'll get there. Other than that, let me get you turned around and uh, show you what we're working with this morning. So far, so good. All right, pushing along, we made it to the stream. There's the bridge, and there's a pipe right over here coming out. Black pipe for the water source. Just topped off water. Now we're gonna push on across the bridge and go head toward the shelter. There we go. Lots of people camping down here by the water source. It's all mucky up here, but coming out of the pipe, it's nice and clean. All right. Looking good. Rocks are starting to come back again. Just got to the top of Rattlesnake Mountain to a view. You can see it's still hazy out this morning. And a breeze. That's weird knowing this is Jersey and you see all the rolling hills. Not what you'd expect. Still just pushing along, pushing north. 
slow and steady. Passed by the uh, shelter turnoff a little ways back. I was 0.2 off trail and I didn't need anything from there. I had water, didn't need a privy. Only have about three and a half, had about three and a half to go to the, to the road crossing, which has some facilities right nearby. If I need anything or water, I make a decision there. So we're just under three miles out from that. And uh, just been going steady, slow and steady all day. Clouds, clouds are still lingering. They haven't lifted all day. It's mid-afternoon now, so. Uh, we shall see. All we're doing is pushing north. There hasn't been any spectacular views either other than the couple that I showed you. They're not that grand when it's hazy out, so. But the breeze is nice and comfortable. Now we got a view. I'm not sure what uh what lake or river that is. That is pretty nice. We are in the area of Branchville, New Jersey. So, one look back. Uh, this is the uh, descent, the last little bit going into the road crossing for Branchville, New Jersey. A little wet leaf litter and short sharp rocks get down here to the road and figure out what we're gonna do I'm not sure if I'm gonna call it but it's most likely I've had enough miles for the day and uh, I'm just sore and beat so no need to push on and get further injured so let's get down to the road and uh, go from there so right at the bottom at the road crossing um, uh, from the highway at uh, Branchville for Culver's Gap. There's a sign that said Trail Magic Point 3. So I walked down to the next business, got water, came back across the street, and we are here at the turnoff for supposedly was uh, supposed to have Trail Magic. And we'll go from there. What we're gonna, what I'm gonna do. I don't see anybody but a bunch of cars. Um, I haven't seen any hikers all day. Oh, there's a table. There is Trail Magic. All right, well, uh, let's see what's going on and go from here. I don't see any hikers here, unfortunately. All right, we got trail magic. All right, everybody, so after Moose's uh, trail magic, uh, got a quick ride up back here into town to Gypsy's Tavern here on the lake and have actually made the decision, talk to some other friends that are north, gonna make the jump. Don't want to, but I kind of got to with get my feet healthy, get new shoes. So we're going to make the uh, jump north to Fort Montgomery, New York. It's almost an 80 mile jump. I don't want to do it, but things got to be done. It's that or go home. So, But check out the lake behind me. We're in Branchville, New Jersey. And when I bring you back for an entity wrap up, we will be in Fort Montgomery, New York. So bear with me. Stick around. We'll get this through hike done. See you on a little bit. Well, good evening, everybody. So, welcome to end of the day wrap up for day 107 and our slingshot jump forward that uh, would happen today. So, got here to the hotel uh, here at. Oh, bear with me. I don't remember the name of the hotel. 
the hotel is the Fairbridge Inn and in Suites in New York. That's right, we were in New Jersey, uh, shuttled up to New York. There's some other people up here. There's an outfitter up here. Uh, gotta get new shoes. That's the whole bottom line of everything. My feet got so trashed with plantar fasciitis and not having any arch support from the shoes I went to, the Topos. Um, didn't foresee that coming, but it is what it is. Um, it's basically an 80 mile jump. So that's where we're at. Um, I didn't want to do it. It was either that or call it and I wasn't ready to call it yet. So there's some hikers up here, Two Knees and Mr. GW that I've been hiking with before off and on for a while. So I decided to jump up, get back with them and get to the outfitter, which we're going to and uh, get some new shoes and see how things go. But let me show you the book, get this wrapped up and closed out and I uh, hope you understand and stick around and stay with me. So here's the book. All right, so we started the morning there we go. Started the morning at Blue, Blue Mountain Lakes Road at the Stealth Spot. That was at mile 13, 14, and just was started, continued running the ridge and got to the bottom of the page. So let's turn the page. And shot around Crater Lake, past the Buttermilk Fall, oh, Falls Trail sign. Not too bad. Rocks were small and sharp, and then came down and climbed Rattlesnake Mountain. I know it looks real short. Oh, it was short, it was just steep. Right there, Rattlesnake Mountain at 13.18.8. Came down off the back side of that and was just doing a bunch of ups and downs, ups and downs. Dropped down into the turn off to Brink Shelter. I had no need to go into there since I got water at the spring right there and I showed you that. Climbed up out of that shelter location. All the way down Jacob's Ladder Trail. Just ran the ridge, ran the ridge. Played with the rocks and then dropped down into US 206 right there, Culver's Gap in Branchville, New Jersey. Mile 1324.6 for day 107. And it was a 10.6 mile day. Uh, it was a short day yesterday uh, to get into Branchville right there at Culver's Gap, but I did the 18 the day before, so I was feeling okay about the miles, but my feet were trashed. Um, had a little bit of trail magic and then uh, went back over to the lake area right there in Branchville in the little, small little town and made the decision to jump forward. So we jumped from 1324.6 in Branchville, New Jersey. And let me get the book turned to where we're at now. So from to tomorrow forward, we're starting out at 1406.5. The Bear Mountain Bridge, Hudson River, Fort Montgomery, New York. This is where we're at. I'm going to take a zero, get new gear, and then I'm going to push north out of here. So that's the end to end official day 107. Went from New Jersey to New York to Fort Montgomery, New York. And we're staying at the hotel, like I said. Again, it's not something I intended to do, plan to do, or even am happy about doing. Um, it's still my through hike, and it's what I got to do to finish it. I understand there's a gap, but it's still over 2,000 miles that I'll be hiking. So, hope you can understand and hang in there with me. Uh, I do appreciate all your support, and thank you for following and watching. If you want to see more, continue along this journey with me. Come on back tomorrow, grab that cup of coffee, and we'll be pushing north with some new gear, new shoes, and hopefully we can recover from this like we did last time. The toes healed up fine, um, so I think we'll be able to bounce back from this. Just give it give it some time. So again, my name is Kilt. We are pushing north through hiking the Appalachian Trail in 2021. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.